number 15. This photo surfaced on the internet recently, showing a strange humanoid creature crawling out from the woods onto the road. The story goes that a geologist took a heat signature photo of a creature he saw while he was working on a site. Though the photo is now largely believed to be a fake, it is still circulating and freaking people out. Number 14. This photo was taken in 1963 by Reverend K. F. Lord at Newby Church in North Yorkshire, England. This photo has been examined at length by experts in various fields to try and decide the photo's authenticity. While the photo has never been proved a fake, the most common theory being double exposure, it to many still seems too good to be real. One of the most common theories is that it is the ghost of a plague doctor who would have worked in the church. Number 13. The form captured in the photo above is what the staff at Willard Library refer to as their shadow person. The library snapped this picture from their surveillance system. Staff at the library and people who watch the tapes, which the library has made available online, describe this creature as sometimes being just a shadow and sometimes being a semi-humanoid form. Either way, the staff at Willard Library embrace their ghosts in the biggest way. Number 12. This photo was taken at Waverley Hills Sanitarium in 2006. The ghost investigators who took the photo believe it to be Mary Lee, a patient and scorned lover of one of the neglectful doctors to work there. Number 11. This photo was taken in 1956 at Eastry Church in Kent, England. It is one of the more famous ghost pictures to be shared and it is still undecided on whether the monk pictured is real or not. Number 10 This photo was captured by an automatic trail cam set up in a forest in Wisconsin. It is unclear what is in the picture, and this is one of many trail cam pictures and sightings of ghosts and unknown creatures lurking in the woods. Number 9 this photo was taken while a tour was being conducted at the old Charleston City Jail. A tourist snapped the photograph after feeling what they believed to be the presence of something. Number 8. This photo was taken during the Civil War and is thought to be a soldier walking up the basement stairs. Number 7. This photo was taken with a Polaroid camera on the front steps of a house just outside Wicker Park in Chicago. The little girl on the front steps was playing dress up with some clothes that she had found in the house when they moved in. Number 6 In 1964, Gordon Carroll took this photo at Mary and All Saints Church in Northamptonshire. He had taken the photo of the giant altar while visiting the church from out of town. When the film was later developed, he saw this figure sitting in front of the altar. Number 5 This photo was taken after the Cooper family moved into their new Texas home in 1950. The story goes that the night this photo was taken, one of the boys started having nightmares about the man in the ceiling that didn't stop for years. If you look closely, there is also a large black void under the boy on the far right that doesn't seem to be normal. There has been a great deal of debate over the authenticity of this photo, though no conclusion has been made either way. Number 4 this photo was taken in 1966 at the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich, England. It was taken by Reverend Ralph Hardy on the Tulip Staircase. Number 3 This photo was captured by a deer camera hunter had set up. The spread of woods where this was taken is more than 10 miles from the nearest town, and it would have been strange for anyone to be in the woods. Number 2. This photo was taken by two friends who were out smoking in the dark. They had heard strange noises and whispers, but they didn't notice the figure until they were looking back over the pictures. Number 1. 
This photo was captured on CCTV footage while the palace was closed. There were no other people on site at the time.